OK, as the inspecting officer, I'd be looking at the soldier from his forage cap, making sure that it's fitted to his head correctly, scanning my way down left and right to make sure that the pieces of accoutrements on his shoulder are correct, all the way down past his medal ribbons, making sure the badges or the buttons themselves have the crown facing uppermost to the white belt. The white belt is blankled correctly and highly polished with the brasses, which you can see are the Mercian Regiment itself. The jacket fits the soldier correctly and it runs onto his trousers. The trousers should be highly creased, sitting on the second lace hole of the shoes. The shoes themselves are highly polished, making sure that the shine is to the front, highly glossed, and the soles of the shoes are also cleaned as well. Moving on to the pace stick itself, we then look at the pace stick. In the olden days, known as the caliper, every piece of shine and material on there has to be polished to a very high standard. From the top of the pace stick, some regiments have different colours, this being a fawn or light colour, the guards sometimes have Canadian rosewood, which is a dark colour, making sure that it's clean, polished and serviceable. The ferrules at the bottom of the brass piece has a small foot or feet at the bottom of the pay stick. And this is known as a ferrule. That ferrule again has to be in good order so it can click when you actually march down the square itself. Underneath the soldier's fingers you have the brass plate. The brass plate has to be clean and free from any dirt. When the soldier himself steps off he marches down the runway or the strip as we call it. He marches in a bit of style panache and he wants to be the best for that unit or organisation he's representing. As he marches down, he has something about him, he's on the heel, he has the stick marching next to him and when he crosses it, he crosses it with a bit of style. It is there, it is to the front and the soldier is off in a smart soldier-like manner. It's to show off and all three members of that team need to get through all the allocated boxes to either change sticks or carry sticks together in a smart soldierly manner and when it hits the ground, it hits the ground with one click of the pace stick. At the end, they halt, the halt should be short and sharp, and then they pause. Then about turn, and it's that point in about turn that they show themselves off. They spin on the heel of the right foot, they puff their chest out, shoulders back, and they look up into the sky, and then they bend and drive as fast as possible to make a crack sound with their foot. Once this is done, we then have the usual jovial interval where somebody will come on from that organisation with a tray of accoutrements. Sometimes that is lager, beer, but most commonly known as the port. Port is used within drill, because at the drill wing itself, or the all-arms drill wing, we use port for the voice. Once a small bit of port is down, it then allows the voice or the vocal cords to be used to shout louder and longer, preserving the throat itself.